What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sabrina Marie O'Marie J here on YouTube and I am finally back to filming. I'm back from vacation. It was a very very fun but now it's back to reality and pretty much back to school. But I decided to do a makeup tutorial dedicated to going back to school. I tried to keep it very minimal and very affordable. I think I used all drugstore products and I only used I think four makeup brushes for this makeup look. Obviously you don't have to do your makeup like this. You can always add more makeup. You can always take out some makeup. It's totally up to you whatever you prefer for school. If you're anything like me after like the first maybe two weeks of school you're just like done no makeup, sweats, yoga pants, sneakers, hair up in a bun, and that's pretty much how it is for the rest of the year. So I guess you can say this is a makeup look dedicated to the first, maybe second week of school. So if you guys wanna see how I got this drugstore makeup look for school, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with a completely fresh face, and my first step is gonna to be to prime, and I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And this is just going to do exactly what it says. It's supposed to erase your pores. So I'm focusing this mainly around my T-zone area because that's where I have the most pores. From there, I'm moving on to my foundation. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and my True Match. So I'm focusing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the T-zone area as well because that's where I get the most oily. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my L'Oreal True Match around the perimeter of my face because it's a much more dewier foundation. For my brows, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Define a Brow Pencil and I'm going to lightly fill in my eyebrows. I'm not trying to make them perfect, I'm just filling them in. For concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to apply that just underneath my eyes to cover up any darkness that I may have under there and to also highlight underneath my eyes to make me look a little bit more awake. Then I'm just blending that in with the same brush that I used to apply my foundation. I like using the foundation brush because there's still a little bit of product left over and it's not going to make my highlight look really, really harsh. Then to set everything in place, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm applying this all over my face so I don't get oily throughout the day. Then to add just a little bit of color back into my face, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Powder and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face. To make this look a little bit more fresh, I am adding highlight. This is totally optional, of course, everything is optional. But I'm using my e.l.f. Baked Bronzer, and it is supposed to be a bronzer, but it's a little too light, so I like to use it as a highlight. Then from there, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Blush Palette, and I'm gonna take the lightest color and lightly brush that onto my cheekbones. Then of course I'm adding some mascara and I'm only adding mascara on my top lashes. I'm not doing absolutely anything to my bottom lashes. The last step is of course the lips and I'm using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I can't remember the name of it 
off the top of my head but I will leave it down in the description box and I'm just applying this all over my lips and just blending that to the top as well then I'm adding some lip gloss this is NYX tiramisu and I'm just applying that all the way around And that is the completed look. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. And I also want to wish everybody an awesome back to school. Also remember to like, comment, and to subscribe. And to share this video with any of your friends. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys.